well, still Bill, Phil Parks in goal. Alan Sunderland, right back, unusual. He finished up as a striker. Uh, Mike Bailey, the Dynamo in midfield. The two central defenders, Munro, McCall, tough lads. Kenny, obviously. Little Willie Carr, little schemer that they got from Coventry City. And, of course, John Richards up front. Really formidable striker. Kenny, what about the Newcastle side? Well, they look quite strong on paper, Dickie, they, but you, you've got Alan Kennedy, who's a great attacking fullback. Um, you've got two tricky players in Mickey Burns and Tommy Cassidy. And up front, uh, Alan Gowling, um, who's partnered by Malcolm McDowell, who's um, a very, very good striker, as we all know. But early in the season, we'd lost 5-1 five, uh, five up there. And so we knew we were in for a pretty tough, uh, <laughs> tough game, this particular <laughs> match. So 1976, the year Muhammad Ali whacked Britain's Richard Dunn and Rocky will Sylvester Stallone hit the big screen. But Wolves desperately needing a win against Newcastle United. Barry Davis is at Molyneux. And Newcastle playing in what is a blue strip, attacking the goal to our left. Kennedy. First head up on Monroe. Bailey to park in, but too much pace on it. Hudson losing out to Bailey. What a responsibility on this fellow. One short of his 500th league game. Bell. Carr. Free kick against Oates. Richards going with Bird. Good tackle by Bird. Carr came rather kindly for Cassidy. Parkin. Bulls have got three home games and two away. But there's no doubt that they've got to take the points in the home games. Victory today could really set them on the climb out of the danger zone. Here's Ken Hibbets. Kippel return well. Might be in for a shooting chance. And is. Oh, and it came back off the crossbar. And then Mahoney turning it up. And the ball headed away by Ray Hudson. Kenny Hibbets. Frustration on your face there, Kenny. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've run quite a fair way with the ball, actually, there, and um, struck it reasonably well. I think I sliced it, that's why it came back off the post the other way, but... Uh, I mean, the opened up and saw, I saw a gap and you just yeah. go for it. What a glorious opening that would have been, wouldn't it? Ah, it would. Um, at that time, I thought, well, uh, maybe we weren't having the look that we, that we need. It's amazing, you know, just two years before this, you won the League Cup. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we beat Manchester City 2-1. Um, why were you in such a bad shape at this point, then, do you think? Well, if we'd have known that at the time, we would have probably done something about it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> there were some um, good teams around, I think. There were. Uh, we were just... I mean, it's only five years on from when we beat Arsenal 5-1. And, you know, one or two players were drifting out and new players yeah. coming in. Yeah. And I think it was in the middle of the change, really. Parking. Certainly end to end stuff. Bailey. Richards to Carr and Bayer Really has come on Bayer in the last third of this season. Stake by Oates. well up, so is Bell, so is Hibbets. Unlucky, really confident shot. Turning it at an angle of more than 90 degrees. Harkin and Garling, Garling didn't know he had it. it does now, Cassidy. Kennedy. Total of eight players up for Newcastle on this. McCall's head up. Yeah. 
Sunderland being urged to get it away. In fact, finds his goalkeeper well. Wolves nine seasons in Division One since being promoted. But the first division life hanging a bit at the moment. Good try by Kelly. Picked that as it came down. Again, the wrong side of the post. Only a few seconds remaining of the first half. Pivot giving it to Gowling. Park saving the corner. So the first half goalless, but the goals are to come, I promise you, and a lot of them. The second half, right after the break. Surely, I've got to take the two points from this game. And they've yet to do enough to suggest that that's by any means a certainty. Graham Oates across the back. Trying to curl it and goes! Oh, well, the goal was needed, Kenny, but what a goal when it came. He got a bit of luck there, didn't he, Dickie? The defenders missed it completely, but he's looked up. You notice he's, he's picked his head up, and um, he struck it marvellous. I mean, was, that's just what we needed to start the second half, because we were in a bit of trouble, you know, with fight for the relegation. And uh, he gave us a great start in the second half, but he was marvellous at that. Anything, chipping, driving it, heading getting the ball at his, his foot in front of defenders. When you think he ain't going to get there, he, he always popped up and got there. The start that Bill McGarry and his team must have played for for the second half. Good clearance by Mahoney. Hibbets, Bell. Which is coming near post. Nobody further over. Just trying to be a little bit too subtle. John Richards, 13 league goals. Francis Munro has come up for the corner. Richards getting up again. Munro! Fine save by Mahoney. Munro sitting it out. And a good save from Mike Mahoney, who of course won our save of the season competition. Still plenty of men forward. One by Oates. Munro. Carr. That's a good ball to Kelly. Delayed too long with the shot. Bell, McCall, Bailey, Sunderland, beaten by Kennedy, Barrett Clough, foul by McCall coming in from behind. Here's Cassidy. Forward for Gowling. Alan Gowling got a hat-trick in the fixture at St. James's Park. Hibbets. Park in. Kelly. Hibbets. Richards with the nod down, but Sandler wasn't running onto it. It's a fine ball by Hibbert. He'd seen Bailey there earlier and ignored him. Here's Richards. Oh, beautiful save. Gets the congratulations, already deserved them. 
Well, that was an inspired pass there from Kenny, What's wasn't that? it, Bobby? I mean, that was instinctive. You'd think you had eyes in the back of his head there. <laughs> so look at that. Was great. That was and a great save, eh? Oh yes. Yeah. Great piece of football, that. Oh. Munro didn't make it. Hibbert! Bird away. Onside is Richards. It's going wide. Stuart Barrett coming off. To be replaced by Tommy Craig. Craig will replace his Cassidy. Clear threat from Newcastle. Hudson. McDonald. No real chance of getting out. Here's Kelly. And he's coming across to no man's land. Fouled by Kennedy, says the referee. Parking. Oates is head up. Cassidy. Hudson. Natras. Wasn't a good ball from Ray Hudson. Bell. Carr. Richards off on the chase again. But once more he's got a lot to do. He's got Kelly there to help though. And now Carr coming square if he's seen. Kelly didn't see him, now he does. Richards. Kelly with the chance to cross. Hibbert. And it was deflected, was it? Well, he... Nearly had a couple of goals in the first half, but certainly got his goal there, uh, Bobby. Well, he's a good striker, Kenny, you see. And and a little half chance you've got to take. They don't come so often. And when you get the chance to shoot, he, he's a lad that was quite prepared to do it. And and you deserve the breaks when you're prepared to take shots, shots like this, Bobby. Because a hard one hit it into the ground probably more than he would have liked. But nevertheless, the deflection helped the goal. But nevertheless, great, great to see players strike the ball instinctively like that. 2-0 to Wolves. Breathing a little more easily now, though in contact with his bench. Get for Richards! Natchez's mistake and Richards' second goal. John Richards, the scorer. Spectators on the pitch for a moment celebrating. Really very sharp to seize the opportunity. A mistake by Irving Natchez, who tried to turn it back to his goalkeeper, and Richards in there to make it three, and indeed to make it safe. Under 15 minutes remaining. A very happy scoreline now for the home club. And I suppose if you look at the goals from a Newcastle point of view, two mistakes, one by Bird, one by Natchez, and the other one, Hibbert shot deflected. And 
maybe a little bit of luck in the end. Goal kick. A few smiling faces now. Sunderland. And again. Oh, lovely turn. Car. And suddenly there's an avalanche. Well, you're on a roll now, Kenny, aren't you? Yeah, um, when you're at Molyneux and um, you get one, two, three up, there's no side really comes back from it. I've not, I can't remember anything coming back from it because uh, don't, for someone who reads it happens that way and there's not many teams you get back into the game from that stage. That was a great uh, goal for Willie because it's not often he gets in the box because he's always a provider and a uh, fetch and carrier. Alisson has done well, he's picked the ball up, got inside, laid out to him, give it back. Uh, and Willie's waiting for it, and if he, if you noticed there, he was just waiting for the ball to come. He, he got a little quick look up, and he thought, I'll drill it into that corner. It was marvellous. Mm. And the one before I me, mean, John, the predator, was there. Bad mistake from the full-back. Mm. And we had a lot of luck in that, well, the first couple of goals. Mm. Uh, and that's what you need in the position mm. that we was in at the time. There is Gould, just to the right of Burns. Mattress. Pivot. Every goal counts for Wolves. They're so tight in goal average with Birmingham. And Bobby Gould getting a touch. Hibbert. Bell. Off the other side of the crossbar and away. Fully set to his figures in the box then, and Gould feeding Bell. Shot beat Mahoney cleanly and came back off the underside of the crossbar. Kelly, Carr, Richards, well the last time we came here he scored a hat-trick. Got tried to pick his spot there didn't he uh, Bobby? Yeah completely dejected went to the, the Geordie defence but nevertheless it was a great finish, strike, confident, knew that he had time, picked his spot. Yeah, great goal. Yes, a great striker. He's a great striker, John Richards. And had it not been for injuries, you know, would have would have done a lot better John as far as the number of goals scored. But he had a great career at Wolves. Just to his left, Bill McGarry. It's a real bonus for them now. And in fact, Wolves have gone one better than Newcastle did against Birmingham, their Wolves arch rivals in the relegation zone. On Wednesday, it was 4-0 to Newcastle against Birmingham. And on Saturday, 5 0 for Wolves against Newcastle. Texas League total for 15. And the crowd in the end rise to the performance. A moment of enterprise began it by John Richards, who went on to get a hat trick, much of the delight of the Wolves crowd. Three goals for John Richards. And the second goal scored by Ken Hibbert, coming at a moment when Newcastle was threatening to come back in the game. But from that point onwards, Wolves ravaged Newcastle United.
and scored five very important goals to add to their two points. So Wolves' worries eased the touch, but it was to be a temporary respite for they eventually finished in 20th.